Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Shannon. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Please consider subscribing if you like my content. I do luxury unboxings, what's in my bags, reviews, and I would love for you to be a part of my family. We have a lot of fun here. You can also join me on Instagram at For the Love of Lux. I will put the uh, username down below because I spell love L V O E. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Today I have a what's in my bag for you guys. Um, I have to go to school today to pick up my belongings because I am not living on campus. So I still had some stuff left over from last semester and I was like, I really don't want to carry my bigger bag. Um, although I can't put this crossbody, it's kind of, it's larger and it's a little bit more bulky. And to be honest, I really don't need to carry all of this stuff. Um, I tend to, I'm sure you guys can relate, but when I have more room, I tend to just carry more stuff that I don't need. So I think especially during this time, it, I think it's better if you keep your belongings minimal and just take what you really need. Um, so I put everything that I needed, I took a look at my bag wall and I was like, well, first of all, what matches my outfit? And second of all, what is going to be functional and small that I can bring with me? And it's this beautiful vintage baby. This is my Chanel small vintage flap and I love vintage Chanel. I think that's what I have determined um, that I like about Chanel is their vintage bags. I, you guys saw my unboxing of the 21P Business Affinity and I do love that. She's a beauty. Um, I have the jumbo flap. I have, you know, a few <laughs> Chanel bags and that's really crazy to say now. Um, however, something about the vintage bags I just love even more. It's like they're more special to me. Same thing when you guys get a, a vintage Louis Vuitton bag. They're just so, like, they're just better made. They're well made. Um, the hardware here is just beautiful. It's that beautiful gold hardware. Um, so she definitely needs a spa day with leather surgeons. I don't know why I have such a hard time doing those kinds of things. Like I will drop 2k on a, a bag but I will hesitate to spend a hundred, couple hundred dollars here and there. Um, I think that's just like the frugalness of me is like if I spend a hundred dollars here and a hundred dollars there then that adds up to a bag but I really should just take the time and send her because you know the hardware needs to be polished and it can use some touching up in like the color and stuff like that. So I wanted to share with you what I keep in this bag and what fits in it because it actually surprised me. So I do have to note a couple of things. This does carry my essentials that I don't need in my hand, but I keep in mind that I keep my sunglasses on top of my head almost at all times, even when I should be wearing them. <laughs> and I have my phone, which I don't really put in my bag unless I have to, but my jacket has a couple of pockets. It has side pockets and this top pocket, so if I need to put my phone somewhere, I can put it in my pocket. And then my keys, I they're obnoxious to be honest, but even if I had one key, I mean, I guess if I just had my car key, it would fit in here, but I, I like to keep this because I just find this in my bag and I just grab it and that's how I find my keys. So this won't fit in there. I can just hook this on the side of the bag when I need to because I have one of those claw hooks. Okay, so here we go. Here is what is in my bag. So the first couple of things I have is the lip combination I'm wearing. It's It was actually a set and it came with a lipstick too. I think it's from Sephora or Ulta. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat uh, Reshape Resize Lip Liner in the color Pillow Talk. And 
the lip gloss is the same shade. So love those. I have <clears throat> even, okay, ladies, let's just be real for a second. Even when you don't have your cycle, do you carry feminine products with you? Like, because you want to be that girl that like, if someone asks you for a feminine product, you're like, yeah, girl, I got you. I always do that. Um, cause nothing is worse than running out of feminine products. Next I have, it's also early and I didn't drink enough water this morning yet. So that's why my voice is raspy. Then I have my black opium YSL travel perfume. And the only way I will carry a perfume like this is if it has a cover because you don't want alcohol that's in the perfume to stain your bag or ruin your bag or even fragrance in general general you don't really want that odor in your bag um, so I will only carry something if it has a secure cap that like won't readily come off I keep some medicine this is Sudafed pressure and pain um, because I always get migraines and they're normally tension migraines so I just keep something for sinus pressure in my bag at all times and everyone's sick nowadays so I carry that for other people as well next I have my aquaphor healing this is a little baby one because my skin gets so dry my hands will peel they're so dry my lips same way so I figured rather than carrying a hand cream, a lip gloss, or rather than carrying a hand cream, a lip balm, and whatever else, just carry this. This is multi-use. You can use this for really anywhere on your skin, and you can use it on your face, your hands, and your lips. So I figured that was the best way to, to check those boxes off and save some room. I also have my AirPods. I don't know if I'll, I'll need them today, but in case I get stuck sitting somewhere I can listen to some music and then the last thing that surprised me this is the last thing in my bag that fit was my Emily wallet I was like oh I'm gonna have to carry like a card holder I was gonna switch over to like my larger uh, Chanel card holder and I was like hmm let's see if this fits and it fit and it's actually pretty full right now last time I showed you guys on my stories my wallet was empty so what I do is I keep a card hold my card holder in my wallet and then if I just need this I'll take it out and switch it over to another bag but I kind of have some overflow of cards right now I have like my um, AAA card and my credit card in here um, that doesn't fit in here because my metal card is more important so uh, I have some receipts in here I want I'm trying to think of how I can show you without like exposing myself um, I have receipts in the front, I have some cash that I forgot to deposit, and I have a card because I did treat myself for my birthday. I always tell you guys I hate getting my nails done. I don't get my nails done. That's another way I save money, but it's my birthday, my 21st birthday tomorrow, so I was like, I'm going to go get a manicure and a pedicure because it needed it. <laughs> like, it was really bad. Um, so that was money well spent in my opinion. And it's winter and I go very infrequently so I just decided to treat myself like I said um, but the Emily wallet this I got from this I got from Re Deluxe with Georgia she was amazing she did a flat lay of like a bunch of stuff and I saw this wallet and I was like I messaged her I was probably like irritating her I was just like spamming her like is this soul can you please hold it for me like blah 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 because yellow is, the, I don't understand how a color can trigger such an emotional response for me, but that is how I feel about yellow. It's just, I know it's everyone's happy color, it's, um, I don't, I, I know it's a happy color, but for me it just, it triggers something even like more special, so... I saw this and I saw that it would match my mimosa interior never full and I was like please tell me you have that please hold it for me for like until I can get more photos and she did and she sent me she sent me a ton of photos they are just amazing there um, I'm not partnering with them they just 
truly are amazing. They offer great pay payment plans. They want you to be able to get the bag or accessory that you want. So I highly recommend them. I've owned the Emily wallet before and I love it. So that is that. And that is everything that I put in here. And I love that the Chanel bags have like the little lipstick holder. It kind of makes me feel more mature and I don't know, just like fancy. I think that's so cool. Um, I kind of wish I was born back in like these days. I don't know, I feel like that'd be such an experience, but anyway. So yeah, and then I'm just going to wear it on my shoulder, and then most likely crossbody when I'm actually moving out. I just wanted to film this really quick in the morning because I know I have a bunch of stuff to get done today, and homework to do, and all that stuff, so... I will chat with you guys later. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing and following me on Instagram. I love interacting with you guys. Even if I don't post a picture every day, I do check stories. I do like your content. I do chat with you guys in DMs, which I absolutely love. Thank you guys again for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.